There we go. You're set. Okay. So, if you want, you don't have to because I'll lay out all the requirements in this, but this first bullet point over here is a link that you can type in and it'll take you to um, the Merit Badger Workbook for Citizenship in the Community. And then, um, but not all the requirements are going to be done tonight. We're only actually going to be doing a few because that's all we can do tonight. Um, let's see. So the first requirement is discuss with your counselor what citizenship means and what it takes to be a good citizen in your community. So, which one of you wants to take a hit at it first? <laughs> Like what makes a good person in your local Volunteers. Maybe leaders, yeah, like leaders. Okay, so volunteering and leadership can lead to being a good citizen. Um, so I guess going back to like the sort of the first part of what this requirement's asking, what do you guys think citizenship means? I don't know what they would have been surveyed to do. There's a right away going across that you know, that creek on that thing that block there. Mm. You can do that like there's a right away goes across that creek over there to those houses that they did the break. Yes. Yeah. Part of a group. Okay, so it's not really that complicated, like the definition of citizenship it basically just means that you like live or belong to a certain area logan did you hear isaac a second ago i did not i said uh part of a group part of a group yeah So yes. Okay. Um, next part to requirement number one is to discuss the rights, duties, and obligations of citizenship and explain how you can demonstrate good citizenship in your community, scout unit, and place of worship or school. About 11 o'clock and let's see what time was it. So, Like, what are some privileges for the community? I know. <laughs> um. <laughs> You can look up some answers too. You don't have to come up with them off the top of your head. Let's see if we can find here. Roger, do you want pasta salad or dairy and rice? How's your day with you? Good. Uh, 
Um, well, that's more of a definition. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can give you that clean plate right there. Oh, that's a cat. That's a camera ticket. Is that a cat? Yes, and the cat on the left side. Y'all are just names. That's all I got to say. I'll tell you what, I don't know how many days you can remember that. Maybe a right to have like a say in what the government does, maybe, or like you have rights. Town. Say that again, Isaac. Um, it's like rights to have a say in like your government or community. Hmm. We did it, Now. And so a couple more examples would be um, you have the right um, of freedom of speech, right to a fair trial, and the right to vote. So now, what would be some duties that we as citizens should be doing? Uh, respect the rights, beliefs, and opinions of others. What do you say, Isaac? Uh, respect the rights, beliefs, and opinions of others. Obey the law. What's the last thing you just said? Pink taxes. Say it a little louder. Paying taxes. Dissipate. We'll say that those are um, some good duty. So now, what kind of obligations do citizens have? Yeah. 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 Logan? Yeah. I have one. Stay informed of the issues affecting your community. What an art, yeah. Well, that was Brian pointing out right here. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Very much. Go past them. And 
Okay, we won't stay too much longer on this. Um, and there's not like a certain amount of things that we have examples that we have to have. So we will just move on. But those were some good things that you guys came up with. Um, I think this is the last part of requirement one, and that is to explain how you can demonstrate good citizenship in your community. Um, scout unit place of worship or school. So what do you guys think like makes someone a good citizen? I want to put all five. Say that again. Volunteering. Mm -hmm. um, by following like the law and yeah. Don't respect others. For their 18th birthday, we could write to them up on uh, IRA. Amazing. Right. That's good for that one. All right, so for two, there's different parts to requirement two, but the first part is to look at a map of our community and locate the following points. So for that one, we are going to take a look they started an IRA here. $25. Can you guys see the map now? Yes. Okay. So we are going to find where is the let me zoom in more though. <laughs> Where is the county courthouse? It's probably like what's not the IRA. It's on King Street, King Street, right? Yes. So we'll zoom in on King Street. I, I know how it looks, but I don't know where it's located. Um, Trying to see. Oh, I think I found it. Taga County Court of Court, maybe. Um. Yes. Good job. Okay. Um. The next thing that we have to find is. A fire station, police station, and hospital. Oh, yeah, there's a fire station real quick. Fire station will be pretty easy. It's just right on up the road. And we'll zoom out some more. Where could you find a police station? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, especially when the lights are in their fresh day. I don't like a warmer, I don't like them hot either. But I like them get cool. Lots of things you need in life, coffee is not one. 
Oh, there it is. Right here. And this is right across the street from Comeback Shack and Arby's. Okay. And does everyone know where the hospital is? Oh, yeah. Um, It's to the right, the Taga Medical Center. Ta-da. Okay. So now, let's see. We need to find a park or a playground. I'm going to talk to April for this. I'll give you a little. Well, as soon as I find out where I'm at. Okay. We'll come over to Valley Cruises. So let's find a park or a playground in Valley Cruises. Um, Valley Cruises Community Park. That's a good one. And right there it is. Now the next one. What would be a historical place around um, Taga County? House and Valley Cruises maybe, kind of. Master Nursery. Wait, Master Nursery. That would work. Okay. And now. Let's see. So now the second part to requirement number two is we are supposed to explain how our local or state government is organized. So again, you can look up stuff to help figure that out. state government are laid out? Uh, I couldn't hear you, Isaac. What did you say? I didn't say anything. I meant the other Isaac. I didn't oh, clarify. Sorry. sorry. There's three branches of local government. 
which are so let's see you now you should be able to see on your screen how um the state government is laid out um and like isaac was saying the three different branches of government legislative executive and judicial it'll show you um pretty much everyone um, and how they are organized in the state government, which is what we're looking for. So we can move on from that one. For this one, um, requirement three, we're not going to be able to actually I made a list of what we are able to do. You need to that much, but more. Okay. For requirement three, six, three times, or six. Which, yeah. For requirement three, we can't do this tonight, but you all you have to do is attend a meeting of your city, town, or a town council or school board. Um, and then you just have to name the meeting that you went to and I'm not sure if you can find it online but the Board of Education for Watauga County had an online board meeting a couple last week or a couple weeks ago I don't remember which one but if you can find that meeting um, you can use that here or um, we were planning, well, we never really planned, but we had mentioned going to a school board meeting as a troop, so that may be a way that you guys could get this eventually if you're not able to find it online. Okay. And then from that meeting that you go to, you need to like take notes of different things that they talk about, and then you need to pick one of those issues and then explain if you agree or don't agree or have a different opinion about the about like what they were talking about or what decision they came to does that make sense yes. okay and Um, requirement four also has to be done on your own. Um, what all you do to this one is this isn't based off of a meeting that you go to. You can look it up on the internet, whatever. Um, you just have to find an issue that is important to citizens around here and then find out which branch of local government is responsible for it and then try and get in contact with someone in that branch of government or someone involved with the issue, and then ask how um, young people or youth can help with the issue. And then that's the same thing. Um, number five also has to be done on your own. Um, with this one, you just need to find a movie that your parent approves of and watch it. Um, the movie should show how the actions of one person or a group of people can have a positive effect on a community. And then you just need to write down what you learn from that movie and what it means to be a valuable and concerned member of the community. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Number six, we can do. Um, so we have to list, I think it's five um, different services that 
the community provides and are funded by taxpayers. And then we also have to tell like why it's important. So we can go back to the map or you guys can look up um, some of the things around here that are important services. Those can be things such as like a library, recreation center, public transportation, or um, public safety. Um, I know Apple Car is the biggest service. Yes, it is. And why would you say it is important? Um, it, I guess it helps people like college students slash people who can't really get around easy, um, to get around like boom and stuff. Number two. Um, have one, Logan. Uh, it's Help in Hunger Coalition. Butchered that spelling, but it's okay. Okay, and why is it important? It helps feed the poor. Perfect. Number three. I found one. Um, Boone Mailing Center, maybe. What do you say? Boone Mailing Center. And why is it important? Um, I guess it helps get people people's mail around town or wherever they want to send mail to. more um, the police department and why are they important um, they keep us safe. Perfect. And last one. Um, the woodlot is also another one. What? What'd you say? Uh, the woodlot, like what we did a few years ago, I think. Similar to that. Similar to okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Why would it be important? Mm -hmm. um, it provides wood for people who can't afford it to heat their homes. Number seven. Number seven has three parts to it. We can do the first two, but the third one, and I'll tell you when we get there, you will have to do it on your own. Um, but for the first part, number seven, we need to identify three of three charitable organizations outside of scouting that interest you and bring people in your community together. And I'll go ahead and pull over here on the Health and Hunger Coalition again, because that is true. Mm 
Um, oh. Is it raining? No, I was just looking to see if it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was curious. I'm going to move the fan around. Let's try it. Um, Wataga Medical Center. I think that that would count as charitable. Oh. Um, Blue Ridge Energy, maybe. That could work. They do do some things like for charities and stuff. Okay, and then another one I'm going to put on here is the hospitality. Oh. Okay. So we're going to number, or yeah, 7B. We need to pick one of those three that we came up with and just find out more about them. And it doesn't have to be like a crazy amount of information. We just need to list a little bit about what they do. So which one do you guys want to take a look at? Um, I guess we could do hospitality house. Okay. Now we need to find out a little bit more about it. And it can be something simple like their mission statement or um, really anything. And um, they do provide the homeless a place to sleep and they do give them food. Okay. Okay, so I found that the Hospitality House is a regional nonprofit transitional living facility um, and crisis assistance resource center that serves seven counties in North Carolina, which are Watauga, Wilkes, Ash, Avery, Allegheny, Mitchell, and Yancey. And they provide housing, pre uh, prevention, and nutrition. And they 
And their mission is to rebuild lives and strengthen community by providing safe, nurturing, and healthy environments in which individuals and families experience homelessness and poverty-related crises are equipped to become self-sufficient and productive. Nice. Mm. Okay, um, for this, for 7C, you can find a way to like contact them, the hospitality house on their website. Um, they have a button that says co contact and then you can just type in what you wanna say to them and click send. But for 7C, you have to contact the organization and find out what young people um, can do to help them. So that is one thing that you will also need to do on your own. Um, and then another part to this, which this is not gonna be like able to happen right now, um, but you will need to, it says to uh, volunteer for at least eight hours to this organization. Now I know some elementary schools do do work for the hospitality house. So if your school has done that, you can count um, like hours to that. Um, otherwise, this can be something we work on whenever we are able to get back together and meet in person. This could end up being like something that we do one Tuesday night or multiple, whatever. And then this is the last requirement for citizenship in the community, um, but you guys will need to develop a public presentation, which can be a video, a slideshow, a speech, um, a few photos about important and unique aspects of your community. Um, you need to include historical, cultural, and ethnic inf uh, information. And then you also need to include the best features, popular places, um, like where people gather, and different challenges that people in this community um, can find. And then at some point, you will need to present that presentation to our group. Hey, Logan. Yes. Would that be something that could happen in a Zoom meeting too? It can. Okay. It's gotta be able to get together and get the This is separate. Oh, 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 okay. Sorry. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else? Um, not really. So we were able to complete five, well, three entire requirements and two parts of another. Um, but you guys still have three, four, five, seven, C, and eight to do. Um, we would like for you to try and get the requirements done by the next meeting, which would be April 28th, um, if you can. Now, if you remember, like, some of the requirements asked, asked you to, um, contact, like, 7C, it asks you to contact the organization, if you just send them an email and ask them like what it's telling you to ask, like what young people can do to help. If you don't get a response, that's fine. As long as you, you know, actually contact them, that's, that works. That completes their requirement. Um, for eight, the presentation again, doesn't have to be huge. Um, you just have to include all the different things that it says here. Um, 
What was the other requirements? Three. What was three? Oh, yeah. Three was the meeting. Again, they did have that online school board meeting. If you can find that one, that works. And then you just have to pick something that they talk about and then explain it. And then for four, you just needed to find an issue in the community and find out what branch of government is responsible for the issue and then contact someone from that branch of government or someone involved with the issue to find out how people could help with it. And then five is to find a movie and watch it. And then pretty much it for that one. And then this timetable, we're not really going to worry about it right now. So don't worry about this unless you already have like dates you can put in there. Um, let's see. And if you find that there's a different organization for number seven that you guys may have done some work for already or have, you know have done eight hours of work for, um, you can just mark, you can just like change the stuff that we got for, that we filled in here to fit with your organization. And then you can just fill out the hours, however, um does all of that make sense i know that, that was a lot of information yeah it makes a little sense. Bit. okay and um again like lynn records all these meetings that we have um which i have here um all the meetings are recorded and then we post them on the troops youtube channel um and then we also put them on the website so you guys can go there and um, re-watch the meetings and you can like re-look at the different things that we went over and things that you need to do for future meetings here. Um, so you guys can always look back at these meetings. And if you still have any questions, you can always email um, me or Lynn, Kim or page um any questions that you guys might have about the requirements um anything else this um we don't need to talk about that that's all i have for this um I know we weren't able to get all the requirements done, which yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like me. I mean. <laughs>